guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And um, today is Tile of the Week Thursday. And uh, guess what? I have a tile completed. <laughs> Who knew? I knew. Did you guys know? I bet you did. I bet you did. And uh, was this an easy tile or, or a hard tile? Um, actually, it was really easy. Um, I am noticing, though, that the it says that the book was edited by Sarah Callard. I have no clue who she is. Um, but I'm really wondering if, um, if any of these creators designers um i'm not sure what word you want to go go with but i'm wondering if they they had these tested and if they did have these patterns tested did they make the necessary corrections um because there was a place on here uh Um, dum dee dum dum on round 10. Was it round 10 or round 8? I, I can't remember which one it is. I was looking, but it didn't, it didn't come out. Um, I think it was like round 8 that I'm supposed to do something in a chain space. Uh, there were no chain spaces. And if you looked at round seven, um, you weren't making any chain spaces. And even if you ran, went up to round six, you weren't making any chain spaces. At least I don't think so. Yeah, so, um, it, it, yes. Um, it wasn't hard to figure out. There were five stitches that I could use um, in the place of the of the, uh, excuse me, in front or instead of the chain space, I needed five, five, a place to put five double crochets. So I just put them in those five stitches because those stitches went into the chain two space. If that, I know it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to you, but that's the problem that I had. Um, and I know that, um, somebody else did too. Um, because I asked her where the chain spaces was, and she goes, I don't know. I couldn't find them either. <laughs> so, um, yes, Elaine Brown uh, Crochet. I'll put a link down there to um, so you can subscribe to her. Um, she had it done, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so. The name of the pattern uh, was Deft, Delft, excuse me, Delft Blues. Um, and the designer was Katie Moore. And I'm sorry, Katie Moore, if you're watching me. Um, uh, you're, I'm getting ready to put you in the... You're second in line with Hattie Risdale. Hattie. All righty. Um... Yeah, you're you're in second place for um, nonsensical squares, but this is what the square is supposed to look like. It's a very very pretty square, and I did use two of the colors. Um, but first, let me give you a little background. Um, Sam from Memphis Makes, had this book, and the book is called 100 Crochet Tiles. She had this in her wish list on Amazon, and a friend of hers bought it for her. And when she opened it, she was like, I'm going to make one of these a week until, it's, until the book is done. She didn't think about that it was going to take almost two years. No, she didn't. Um, and I was crazy enough 
to go along with her. Um, it wasn't until like she was like on uh, maybe, I think it was uh, tile 15 is whenever I joined in somewhere in that area. I'm still trying to make up the ones. I think I have like 11 I still need to make up. I'll get them eventually. I, I st we're only on number, what is it, 48, 47? I don't remember. We are on number 48. So I still have 52 weeks to catch up on 11 tiles. So that's more than enough time. So, um, I am using all cotton, all four-weight cotton in mine. I am making washcloths, cleaning cloths, um, butt, butt rags. Um, you know, if I don't like it, it automatically becomes a bum cleaner. Um, and so far, I think there's only one... I think there's two bum cleaners. Um, yeah, so the yarn that I used um, this time is uh, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie. Um, this is the color Blueberry. It's a medium weight number four, 100% cotton. Three and a half ounces, 153 yards. Um, I also have it in the color cherry. And this, the white, is a Lion Brand 24-7 um, cotton, I think it is. And I have that, and this is in white. This one's almost done. And I'm using a Clover Amore 4.5 millimeter. So... You guys want to see how mine came out? I was doing, in honor of the 4th of July, I made mine, obviously, red, white, and blue. So, here is mine, right here. Isn't that cool looking? All of my ends are sewn in. Now, the thing that I don't like about this is, um, these aren't, like put down or I think I'm going to go ahead and you know just like tack them down but you're ending up with these holes you have four holes actually you have more than that but you have four big huge holes right here because this is where your I think it was a chain 10 went so you have I can um, I can stick three fingers through there uh so there wasn't it didn't ask for you to turn it down and the this is a four a four chain pico it kind of gets lost so here's the four chain right here um and then this one is all bent over and it's actually they're going underneath so, yeah, there's, I think that she should have had us tack them. These are okay. They don't really need to be tacked. Um, but these in the corners, I think, need to be tacked because they just have this big, huge open space behind them. Um, that is my, my thinking. I could be wrong. Who knows? But yes, this is my tile. And I'm thinking I'm going to give this to my neighbor um, up the road. He is retired um, army. And uh, along with my husband. But I can make my husband. I make my husband ones all the time. So I think I'm just going to give this one to him. Um, up the road. He's an elder. An older gentleman. Um, who is retired army and uh, I think that he would like this a lot so and I'll probably just make him some more you know red and blue things but nothing you know like elaborate as this one 
because this one took this one took a whole day. <laughs> Actually, it, did it take a, a two day span? It might have taken a two day span. Okay, so um, that is that one. Now, I don't know what next week's looks like. I'm getting ready to find out. Hmm. Oh, it's a big one. 16 rounds. Excuse me. Excuse me. Holy moly. That's a it's going to be a big one. Um so yes, this is what next week is going to look like. <laughs> it's called Mindful Mandala. And guess who the designer is? It's not Hattie Risdale, but it is Katie Moore. Hmm. Wonder what mistakes will be in here. I think I remember her designing the next couple ones. Oh, yep. Yeah. She's got this, this one and next one. All righty. Well, wish me luck on this one. Because uh, I'll be working on this one pretty soon for next week. So, um, I'll put the links to uh, Mampha's Makes and also Elaine Brown down in the description box. If you're not subscribed to them, go subscribe to them now. Um, so, yes, that's all for me. So, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.